now we will proceed to the a special type of problems okay so in the special type of problem uh, the first problem we are choosing that is a set square you can see for the construction of a set square they have given a two angles here 30 degree and 60 degree set square of 6 mm longer side is so kept such that the longer side is in hp so we have to keep the longer side in the hp plane so making an angle of 30 degree with vp the set square itself inclined at 45 degree to hp so we have to draw the set square so the main thing in this problem is we have to construct a set square that's it other than that it will be it will be similar to your normal type of problem okay so i'll be showing how to construct a set square here so the problem is easy only thing here is we have to construct a set square okay so how to construct you can see that first we consider a longer side 60 60 means 6 box okay so longer side 60 i have drawn now you can see 30 degree so this is the internal angle difference 6 30 degree so the external angle it will be 60 okay so from here you can mark for 60 okay sorry it's not it's a 30 we have to mark for this point mark 30 30 degree okay 30 degree okay so here so we have to mark at 60 degree okay so here 30 so this is 30 okay and this is 60 so this angle how much we got this is 60 so this is what the 30 degree 60 degree set square set square okay so in this uh, you see it so we have drawn with respect to the question given so we will be showing the dimension okay 60 so we have drawn a with respect to the longer side and we will be giving the naming for it a b c okay so to project it to complete the front view so it is a dash within bracket b dash c dash now angle of inclination to hp it is 45 degree It is a dash b dash we have taken the angle how much it is 45 so mark for 45 degree okay now we have to cut the arc cut the arc from a, a dash to c dash okay same procedure how we did the normal type so it is same only thing here in this we have to construct this uh, set square okay other than that everything uh, remains same with respect to the normal type then this point is b and this point is c so we will join it okay so now we have to draw the third portion that is inclination to vp it is 30 degree marking a reference point So mark for 
30 degree draw an angle line okay so so this is 30 degree so after this we have to mark your presence point E okay. so from E to B we have to measure we have to copy this diagram over here that's it so cut dark so this is the diagram we are copying it okay from now E to C Start then from B to C. So we get to C here. Okay, now we have to join. Okay. So to complete the final position here. So here we get a dash similarly we got p dash here and c dash we are getting here so this is c dash so now we will join to complete the final b Let's complete the problem. Today we are going to learn another special type of problem on the isosceles triangular plate. Okay, now we will proceed with the question. Isosceles triangular plate of a negligible thickness has a base 25 mm long and altitude 35 mm. So they have mentioned these dimensions, base dimension 25, altitude 35. You know how to construct the isosceles. I will show you how to construct. Now, before construction, it is so placed on HP. You can see that it is telling that so it will be placed on HP such that it such that in the front view it is such that in the front view it is seen as an equilateral triangle of 25 mm side. So it is telling that uh, it will be placed on HP, but in the front view we have to get an equilateral triangle of dimension 25. So with the side that is parallel to VP, with the side that is the side which will be parallel to the VP okay so that will be inclined at angle of 45 degree to VP so we can see in this question they have mentioned only one angle of inclination that is 45 degree to VP so there is no angle of inclination to VP given instead of that they are telling that with the side that is parallel to VP is inclined at 45 degree to HP so second angle of inclination they have never not mentioned mentioned instead of it they have mentioned a second weave okay the second weave it is an equilateral of dimension 25 and it is an front weave okay and so in the front weave so we have to get an equilateral triangle so now so before going to the problem first we have to identify is it resting on the hp plane or on the vp plane so for that i'll be doing a trial get okay, in trial one what we do say this is our x y vp hp say we have constructed with the on the vp placed on the hp plane what happens say this is our uh, as well as consider this is altitude okay top view so so this is uh, front view okay now by inclining this uh, we will get a here equilateral triangle we will construct it then by projecting here we get the angle but here in you can see the, this equilateral triangle we are getting in the top view okay so this is top view this is wrong because we have to get an front view okay we have to get the front view so this trial is wrong so similarly we will go for the trial 2 so, so we will try for the trial 2 you can see in this we will construct here Okay, says so that uh, one of the corner touching the uh, it is in the vertical plane but it is one of the corner it is resting on the x y line if it is resting on the x y line means it is touching on the hp also okay it is uh, placed like this you can see this uh, say consider this is horizontal plane this is vertical plane and we have 
placed we have placed like this okay like this we have placed like this equilateral triangle say so the equilateral triangle it is uh, it is in the vertical plane but one of the edges okay corner it is touching the uh, base edge it is uh, touching on the x y line x on the x y line means it is touching the x y line okay so that's how it is say this is the uh, front view then projecting uh, downward we get the top view now in this position they have not mentioned the second angle of inclination so we have to construct a triangle here okay the equilateral triangle of dimension 25 okay dimension 25 we have to construct then we have to by proceeding like this by taking this length we can find out we can find out this angle of inclination okay so this trial to it is correct because you can see this is equilateral triangle so we are getting in the front view okay and you can see that so both the condition we have to match so it is so placed on hp such that in the front view so we are placing an ss plus triangle in such a way that it is touching the hp plane so how it is touching this plane by placing on the x y and we are making this one of the end touching the hp so when it is inclined when it is inclined in the second position it is seen as an equilateral triangle okay so when it is inclined like this okay when it will be inclined like this we are seeing an so we are seeing, seeing an equilateral triangle of dimension 25 how it is mean say like this so say consider this is our isosceles triangle we have placed like this and in second position we are in, inclining we don't know how much inclination we are inclining an isosceles triangle here but in the front we we get again equilateral triangle but we don't know how much angle so that angle we are going to find out okay so i am proceeding with the question so all of you carefully follow it so this condition is correct so all of you carefully follow so first i will draw an x y line so drawing the x y line is compulsory okay bp hp so so first i'm constructing as a source triangle first i considered consider base here that is 25 okay so after constructing base at 25 exactly i will show the dimensions initially okay so exactly at the middle of this we have to consider a center point so it is exact 25 means it is 12.5 somewhere here we get okay 12.5 to this 12.5 we have to mark altitude okay altitude of 35 straight line horizontal line of dimension 35 exactly 35 you have to draw a straight line okay then after drawing 35 you join this okay. so this is what your isosceles triangle so we are giving the naming a dash b dash and c dash okay so when we draw the top view of it so we'll get it we'll get it on this x y line only okay so it is a and b will be in bracket and c so this is what the top view but in this uh, uh, so second position angle of inclination to bp they have not mentioned instead of that they are telling we get an equilateral triangle of dimension 25 so i'll be drawing an equilateral triangle here by taking 25 dimension okay so this problem is uh, a little bit different that's why we call it as an equilateral triangle uh, special type of problem okay so you know how to construct equilateral triangle dimension 25 so in this problem they will be not mentioning one angle instead of that they will be telling one view okay so in the in this we are getting a front view okay front view so in the front view we are getting an equilateral triangle okay so it is a dash this is b dash and this is c dash so this is a equilateral triangle but we need to find out how much inclination we get it here how much tilt we have to do this as well as triangle such that we get a equilateral triangle here okay for that i'll just uh, drawing an projection line here here at this point i will take a reference point here a b then measuring this line a to c 
we are measuring this length here to see measuring this length here to see then i'm going to cut the arc okay so yeah so so now we can find out how much angle of inclination it is so here in uh, i'm getting around uh, uh, 50 degree you have to get 52 okay 52 so i'm getting 50 degree okay so now we have done the second position you can see in this problem how it is present 1 2 3 and 4 first we have drawn this second third and fourth now fifth you can see in this question with the side that is parallel to EP is inclined at 45 degree. So this is what A dash, B dash and this is what parallel to the VP. Now we have to incline this end. Okay. We have to incline this end by an angle of 45 degree. So how we do that? So here we are marking a point of B dash. Okay. So here at this point I will be taking an angle of 45 degree. Drawing the line now measuring measuring this and because this is what the end a dash b dash end is parallel to vp so i'm going to cut the arc so this is a dash now similarly with the same length we have to construct a triangle same dimension 25 okay it is already measured 25 now we join this okay. you can show the angle here it is 45 degree okay. so now we can write the notations so here I am get A and this point is B and this point is C so join it ok so these are completed this fifth sixth actually this problem it is proceed like this ok like this in the arrow direction say first we constructed this second position third fourth fifth sixth in this problem they have mentioned only one angle that is angle of inclination to hp they have not mentioned the angle of inclination to vp instead of that they have mentioned one v that is equilateral triangle of dimension 25 so this is all like this okay